And finally, few formatting issues that, as you know, that each journal has got its own formatting issues and it is time consuming. And as I already mentioned, you can use EndNote to use the uh, formatting that's going to be very much useful. And again, online submission, you know that nowadays a lot of the submissions takes place through online submissions. So you can go for journal portals, portals, you see that you normally go to the journal, their website, they give you a login, you have to create your login. And sometimes nowadays the journal use something what you call this ORCID ID, ORCID ID. One second, please, I just want to. I think there's some issue with the mobile. Yeah, fine. Anyway, at times the journals, they are linked with the ORCID ID. So it is important that that you all, as a researchers, I would encourage strongly all the students to create their own ORCID ID. And when you submit your when you submit your articles, that when you submit your articles, you put the you create your own ORCID ID. So this ORCID ID gives you all the idea about your educational qualification, your job experience, if at all, and your uh, and your research publication and your profile. So sometimes the students get bored when you submit online, and because online submission sometimes can be a little lengthy process, it takes few few hours for you to create a port login and then add all the author's ID and so on. But what to do? This is a process, and we need to follow and. It is also important for us to know that why most manuscript get rejected because many times we make a research manuscript, we put a lot of effort, lot of interest, lot of passion in it, but when we publish it, the journal reject it. Why most manuscript get rejected? It may be because you have not chosen the right journal. For six months, I did writing manuscript and lot of things and formatting according to the journal and my article get rejected. The journal says after one month, sorry, we reviewed your journal is not there. But what is important is that we, we should not get uh, rejected. Most of the manuscript anyway get rejected. If if some good journal, they have 90% rejection. Yours may be in 90, in one of those 90% rejection. So it is important for us to learn learn why it got rejected. It might have got rejected because it's not chosen, the, you have not chosen the right journal. My research is on a particular area of physiotherapy. Maybe I have to try in physiotherapy journal. If it is on back pain, maybe orthopedic journal or maybe something on physiology and so on. But I've tried in the wrong journal maybe. Yes, so that's one of the things. Sometimes it's related to physiotherapy, but it's highly specific journal focusing on a particular area. That means I've not chosen my right journal. Or maybe it's poorly written. I hope we, we already have a comprehensive idea on how it has to be written and so on. Maybe there are there are typographic error, there are grammatical error, there are spelling mistakes, then there are wrong problem. I mean, something is not been proper. Maybe sometime long sentence and maybe incomplete sentence. The introduction is not proper or the methodology is incomplete and so on. That, that may be the problem. Or sometimes it's improper methods. The methods that I'm talking about back pain, I did something which is not very much relevant to the topic. I've used a wrong methodology probably, yes. Or maybe poor formatting, there could be any reason why it got rejected. But each time it get rejected, each time it get rejected, I learned something. I learned that, yes, this journal don't publish, did not publish it because of this reason. But some journal will give comments. It's always important for you to go back to the comments and journal will say that why they got rejected. This, 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 this is the reason. Normally when you submit the manuscript first, the editor looks at it, editor sent it to reviewers. Either the editor or the reviewers or maybe editor and the reviewers give us a feedback on our submitted manuscript. So they say that, sorry, we are unable to accept it due to these reasons. Try to improve your manuscript. And most of the things you learn from editor and from the reviewer. I did a study, I sent it, they put me 24 comments. And when I look into these 24 comments, my manuscripts has improved a lot. Now, when I sent it to next journal, next journal, then that journal liked it. Why? Because my study is now better study. Because I got comment from a journal, from expert who are more, more knowledgeable, more experienced than me. And that's going to help me. So please, when a manuscript get rejected, don't lose your interest. Don't get dejected. Don't feel sad. You always try to try to uh, find 
positive information from that always failure is there so never forget that failure is the first step of the success so if you have got any person who has got more more failure that means that person is successful in attempting failures that itself if you are ready to attempt failure that itself is considered to be a biggest success okay so so this is what we should be knowing we should be thinking when our manuscript get rejected now choosing the right journal now the question come how do i choose my journal there are a lot of methods so you can go based on the indexing like if some journal is indexed in pubmed or ecsi ecsi is like you know something what we earlier used to call as uh, isi so these are index journal they are considered to be better and there is another one indexing agent what you call as scopus we will not go detail into it so you can go through and check whether the journal is there in the scopus accordingly you do it then sometimes i want my study to be freely available to people so i go for open access sometimes i go for impact factor some journal ask for publication fee but i don't want to pay any money because my i don't have any grants to pay that right so sometimes in some countries the universities pay for it but my in my case i don't have anyone to pay for me so i don't choose for it then the scopus which i mentioned in the first line here it has also got quartile got q1 q2 q3 q4 so you might want to if your study is very good you want to try for a journal with high quartiles then area of speciality area of focus of the journal so these are some of the important thing which probably your guide or someone who has got experience in publication maybe a faculty member who is part of your research they are the right people for you in suggesting and choosing the most suitable journal for your research project okay these are some of the criteria that you might want to consider when you choose the uh, proper journal for your publications and there is an article there is an article which i just put the link uh, it was written by a researcher so he talks more about the medical journals and their criteria how we choose the article and so on so someone who is interested can go and look into it and please remember it is like very important for you to choose the correct channel otherwise after two months you get rejection again you choose another journal after two months so if you can choose the correct journal and when you send for publication you should have a you have an idea my first journal is this if this get rejected i submit this journal if that get rejected this like that i should have it i have sometimes some studies which are rejected 15 times which are rejected 24 times but i still did not lose interest but i managed to get it published in a good journal so rejection is never a never a failure it is a repeated attempt for you to reach a larger success okay fine so this is just some how do you know about a journal whether it is index and so on i just put you here the screenshot of a physio of a journal that journal a prestigious journal by elsevier publisher physiotherapy and if you look into it you can see in the top side score so site score is one of the score that's been again calculated by this through the scopus is 2.49 impact factor 2.534 so 2.534 impact factor is actually high good then again if you go down they say like abstract and indexing so they say it is indexed in so many things you can look for scopus you can look for pubmed whether it's online online available free or so on so accordingly accordingly you decide to choose your journal okay so any journal if you go into the website they in the website they talk about they talk about the journal there's a section called about the journal inside that they talk about all this information so this finishes my presentation on scientific writing more focus towards undergraduate physiotherapy students who have already completed completed their research project and who are looking to get their thesis published mm -hmm.